impressive, wasn't it? <laughs> well, it's impressed me. <laughs> Cheers. Come on, uh, do you work out? <laughs> Keep it going, baby love. <laughs> All right, my muscles are sore. I've just come back from a workout with the gymnastic rings and you know what? <clears throat> I am adamant that the gymnastic rings are literally the best workout you can get without a traditional gym. And you can buy the rings for cheaper than one month of a gym membership. It's a no brainer, at least it was for me. So I bought my rings in the middle of the lockdown when all the gyms were closed. I kept on seeing videos of people doing calisthenics where they were doing like pull-ups and muscle-ups and all this like impressive movements and I wanted to do that. And so I've been using the gym rings now for three months and honestly they are a fantastic piece of kit. I'm actually very very glad that I bought them. Just the act of taking them out and going on my bike, going on a bike ride and trying to find the right tree to put them up on it's like, it's like adventure. It's like I'm exploring, trying to find my training spot for the day. Now I know what you're thinking. The gymnastic rings look very hard to train with and I won't lie, they are. But what I didn't realize when I bought them originally was that the height that you adjust the rings actually drastically changes how hard they are to use. So if you're a complete beginner, if you have your rings higher up on certain exercises or lower up on certain exercises, you'll actually be able to do most of the movements. For example, with the row. Now I've been going to the gym for like six years. I can row quite heavily with a barbell. So for me, I can go parallel below the rings and row myself like that. That's the hardest way to row on the rings. A beginner who's just starting off can instead do the row while standing up and just slightly leaning back. You'll still get a fantastic pump because when I recorded this video that you're seeing, honestly, I could feel it hurting my back in such a nice way. I could feel it contracting my back muscles so perfectly still. Honestly, you can do that for pretty much most of the exercises on the gym rings. So I have made a full video course. It's 30 minutes long with 16 different lectures for complete beginners who haven't even bought their rings yet. So you can view this course before you've bought your rings. It will be linked in the description below. And in this course, I've went through every one of the main movements that you should be focusing on. And I've gave you the exact way to make that movement much easier so that anyone from all levels can get started. The video course is in the description and it's going to be free for three days. So if you do want to watch it, then make sure you go quick, watch it, leave me a review and let me know what you think. So what's my opinions on the gym rings? Now I've been training with these for around three months, but as I've mentioned, I have been weightlifting for like six years. So I have quite a lot of strength that I've built up from the gym and it has definitely carried over to my training with the gymnastic rings. But for anyone who's watching this who is actually consistently weightlifting, let me just tell you that this is such a humbling workout. Like you will get onto the rings and you will shake. I'm gonna play the first time I ever got onto the rings right now and you'll just see. <laughs> and look at those tricep dips. And you know what? I feel like this is a good thing. It is a challenging workout. With the gymnastic rings, you can focus on exhausting the muscle and progressing your strength. But I feel like the main benefit of the gym rings is that you focus on hitting the bigger movements. And that's so exciting because you start off with the smallest, easiest ones, the progression exercises, and you just slowly, slowly build up some strength and some skill till eventually you can hit the movements that actually really impress people. Now I train in public. This is almost like a confidence test for me. I can tell you that two months ago, I was barely hitting these movements and it was kind of embarrassing failing so many times in front of people. And now just today, there were so many people asking me questions and going, wow, and all this and oh, but daddy, what's he doing over there? Is he exercising? And everyone who walks past is like looking at you. Some people might not view that as a good thing. Honestly, I love attention. So I think it's a good thing. Everyone's looking at me. My muscles are popping. My bicep vein was sticking out. I was pumped. And honestly, this was like, this was my warm up right now. I was just getting started, just stretching out with the support hold and the active hang and stuff. 
I am convinced, 100% convinced that this is the best workout you can get without a gym. I wish I got these earlier. The fact that you can work out in nature, you can exercise outdoors and not only exercise outdoors, but this is a form of resistance training. There's not much resistance training that you can do in the outdoors, in nature. Of course, you know, nature workouts and outdoors exercising and stuff is usually just restricted to cardio. You can go for a run in the forest, you can go on your bike and go through the hills or whatever. But resistance training you can't really do. Maybe you'll find a tree that you can do some pull-ups on, but just having the rings with you is literally the way that you can develop some real strength and like genuine like real muscle mass on your body because you are training in the hypertrophic rep range. When I do dips, I go for eight reps. And I honestly, I struggle with eight reps. I can bench press two plates, but eight reps of the tricep dips on the rings is actually quite difficult. Same with doing ring chin-ups. I can maybe do eight reps, but I can use 25 pounds on my back with a normal pull-up bar. It's challenging, but I like it because it's challenging relative to your own skill. Just by adjusting the height of the ring, you can make it easier or harder. And really that's the best thing you want when you're resistance training. You want it to be challenging for your relative skill, your strength right now. And I feel like the gym rings can do that. I can imagine myself training with this exact pair of gym rings for years to come. And that's a fantastic investment. The gym rings that I have are 40 pounds. That's the price of two months membership in the cheapest gym that you could find in the UK. And just for £40, honestly, I feel like they are such good quality that I could be using these rings for years. So I'll actually have a link to my exact pair in the description as well. But because these are the more high-end price of the rings, usually I can see them on eBay and Amazon for a bit cheaper. I'll also link another pair that has a lot of great reviews in the description below. So if you're contemplating buying these, just check out those links and I don't think you'll be disappointed. 20 pounds for the cheaper one and 40 pounds for my one is so affordable compared to the price of gym memberships. And in case you didn't know, working out in nature actually has some extra benefits. Of course, you have the benefits of just exercise, which are enormous, but there's actually evidence and research that suggests that working out in nature actually has a much bigger benefit to your mental health than just working out in a gym. And since I've started, honestly, I do agree with this. When you're, it seems obvious, you know, when you're outdoors in nature, you just, most people feel happier when they're in nature. Since I've started training with the gymnastic rings, I've started seeing the traditional gyms almost like a, like you just go in there, you put in your time and you come out. It's not something I would consider exciting. Whereas training with the gymnastic rings is exciting. I'm, I'm literally gassed. I'm like literally like so keen to go for my next session and see if I can hit a better muscle up. And so there's a few cool movements that you can work up to with the gym rings. And I've been trying to reach these myself. So we have the L sit, which honestly, I feel like I am doing pretty well. I think my legs are quite straight. I can hold it for at least five to 10 seconds at perfect position. We have skin the cat. This is the first big movement that I tried to hit. And just today, I feel like I hit it four reps perfectly. Honestly, I'm actually impressed by my form here and the way that I just went all the way through because I'll play the first time that I tried to do skin the cat now so you can see my progress. I couldn't even go upside down and now I'm going all the way through feeling the massive stretch on my shoulders. And obviously the muscle up. This is like the biggest one. So I'm gonna play the first time I tried to attempt the muscle up. It just hurt my hands and the attempts today. I'm still quite far away from hitting a solid, slow muscle up, but I am getting there. What's some things that I would say to a beginner that I would tell myself if I was going to buy them again? So number one, most important of all, is know the correct and safe form for all of the exercises you're about to do. And coupled with that is also have a workout routine for those beginner movements. So that's like the two things I think you should start off. And those are the two things that I focused on when I made my video course for gym rings. So learning the correct form for your exercises is very important because otherwise you'll most likely get injured. And if you get injured in your first one or two weeks, honestly, you will probably just not go back to it. You wanna get into this training nice and slow, perfect form, or at least very good form. 
and grow from there. And the importance of a actual workout routine cannot be understated. When I first started, I just went and tried to do the movements that I saw people hitting on YouTube and that's not the right way to do it. There's so much fundamental strength and stability that you have to build first. And if you try and hit these movements on your first workout or your first week's workout, it is fun to hit them and see where you can get up to. So I would advise, you know, trying them and recording yourself, but that's it. Just try them a couple times. I was adamant that I could hit them just because I had years of training in the gym. So I was sure that I was big and strong enough. I was wrong. <laughs> so in my advice to my previous self and to anyone else watching would be stay humble. You don't need to hit those bigger movements when you first start off. But that probably brings me to my third point. I don't know why I held up four fingers. That brings me to my third point. Record yourself and at least try to hit the few movements like skin the cat, L sit, muscle up on one of your first workouts. Just try and hit them once or twice and just record yourself because it is very funny and fulfilling to have that old clip of you attempt it like I have and then just comparing between then and now, seeing your transformation. It's kind of like taking a before and after picture of your weight loss. As I said before, if your goal is to pack on real muscle, real size on your body, I am adamant the gymnastic rings will do that. There's a reason why gymnasts are so jacked, because the workouts that they do are so intense. You don't need to be weightlifting to make muscle. You, to make muscle, you have to be resistance training. That, that is an absolute fact. You have to be resistance training, and if you wanna maximize your muscle growth potential, you need to be hitting movements in that hypertrophic rep range, which pretty much means whatever exercise you're currently doing, you wanna be able to do no more than 15-ish reps of it. Like 15 would be about your failure, like you couldn't do the 16th push-up or pull-up at max even six, eight, 10 is a little bit better maybe. The, the rings will be perfect for that. Because of the height adjustment, you can hit these movements with eight reps. If you're a complete beginner, you don't do any exercise at all, you can set it up to almost face level and then do the rows and you'll be able to do eight rows like that perfect. If you've got a little bit of training experience and some extra strength, bring the rings lower, have yourself tilted back a lot further and then you can still hit the eight to 12 reps perfectly with the row. And the same goes for a lot of the different progression exercises that you can do. Since I've started training with the gymnastic rings, I now don't do any tricep isolation movements in the gym because these pump up my triceps a lot when I'm doing the dips. And I've also reduced a few sets of my back workout because I'm doing quite a lot of pull-ups on the rings. The gymnastic rings beef up your forearms and I'm pretty sure they're beefing up my wrists too, which you might think is impossible. I, I thought it was. You can't really grow the muscles around your wrist or the size of your wrist. But when you, when you hop onto the gymnastic rings, you'll feel it all through your forearm. You'll feel it up to your wrist, just the burn and the just the muscles being worked. And I am sure that I'm making some like extra forearm gains because I think my forearms were always lacking, but three months of the gymnastic rings are actually pumping them up quite a lot. So I hope I have motivated you enough to take your training outdoors into nature and get started on your gymnastic rings training. I really want you to check out the video course that I've made. I put in a lot of effort. I made it over an entire month and I made it specifically for beginners who haven't even bought their rings yet. They, they just kind of are slightly interested in this training style. So if you are slightly interested in the gymnastic rings, then make sure you go and watch it. As I said, the video course right now is free for three days. So it'll be free until either Friday or Saturday. So if you're watching this video and this video isn't three days old, the video course will still be free to watch. So make sure you go and watch it. It's half an hour long. It's full of content that I've double checked and edited and I've just made sure that if it was a complete beginner who's watching, what are the most important things that you should know? I made it in a way that I wish I watched it when I first started training and I think that's the best way to try and teach someone else. So definitely go check that out. If you want to buy your gym rings right now, then I'll also have the two Amazon links in the description below and get training. Honestly, it is a very, very fulfilling and challenging journey. I'm looking forward to my next session and I literally just came back from my previous session. <laughs> All right, take care.
get yourself some gymnastic rings. I do not look back on this purchase whatsoever. 40 pounds and I've trained with these maybe, well, 50 times. A little kid just fell off this bike. <laughs> A little girl just fell off her bike. That one hurt. <laughs> one. Ah, nah. ah. <laughs> Your turn, bro. You're a joking, man. This is the wind I was like, where's your about? Advice, just keep your elbows in here, push. Yep. Ready for the spell. Good. It's going on YouTube. <laughs> yeah. Push. Yeah. <laughs> Christ, man. The Parkinson's shit. <laughs> I had that. Shake it like a shitting dog. Some bits, I'll show you. Grab them, palms facing inwards. Hold them tight. Jump up, stabilize first. Yeah. And just do it down a bit. And when you come up, lock your arms out. One of the few times you'll actually lock your arms out in exercise. I want to see that shake again. <laughs> One more time for the camera, yeah? Go, well, bro. Focus. <laughs> yeah. Dip down. Push and lock. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> you got it from It's staying. Keep them tight. Yeah, elbows in. Just focus on trying to hold yourself there for a second. Yep. Hold. Good work. Now go for a dip halfway. <laughs> <laughs> I am done. Right, that is my little gym rings video. Obviously, this was all just to plug the video course that I made. So, hope you guys are interested in getting into this training because it is really fun. And I know I've said this like four times, but go to the description right now, click on that first link, and just try the course in it. You, you don't have to pay anything, you don't have to en enroll or anything like that. You literally just create an account on this website, Udemy. And uh, oh, I'm out of breath. I've only been here for like half an hour. <laughs> Join the video course, watch it, let me know what you think. If you leave it a review, it will help me as well, which would be much, much appreciated. But obviously, just leave it an honest review. It's my first ever video course. This might actually be like one of my main projects similar to YouTube, where my plan is right now that every month I create one video course. And in that, I make it like, I'm going to make it like a practical guide to my viewers of one topic. So the first one was gym rings. The second one that I'm doing right now for August 2020 is the mindfulness framework. The exact process on improving your mindfulness. A step-by-step -step process that you can do either when you're meditating and even just throughout your normal day. So that's the one that I'm making right now. Putting it into a video course format and uploading it onto these platforms seems like such a great project that hopefully my true fans and you know the people who really, really like my content who are benefiting from it would also enjoy and consider being active on those platforms as well. That would help me. I'm gonna have a lot of content on them and hopefully it's something that you guys can benefit from. So thank you for the support so far. Someone tries to rob my phone, I'm gonna... <laughs>